breakdown of how shower grades installed in a typical bathroom. These same principles will apply for a new or renovated bathroom installation. This is simply one variation on countless installation options. This particular shower grate is shown here off the walls, however it can touch the walls if the customer so desires. As you can see in the exploded view, the grate top can be removed and the lower tray for cleaning also shows the pieces of the puddle flange along with the decal stop the building rubble going down the plumbing pipes during construction. This uh, represents the bathroom being disassembled now for the purpose of showing you the various levels and stages for building a bathroom from scratch. First of all, the pipe work is positioned where you require the shower grate. In this particular example, it shows it coming through concrete. Same principles will apply if using through a timber floor and AC sheet. The floor is then recessed down to, to receive the puddle flange, which is glued and screwed into position. The walls are then lined with stop joints installed by an approved uh, waterproofing contractor, and then the waterproofing membrane is applied as per Australian standards. This is actually a close-up view now of how the waterproofing will be applied both onto and into a typical puddle flange. As you can see, the finish is a total 100% waterproof layer. The puddle flange centre is then screwed back into place to prevent any debris falling down the hole during the next construction phase. As you can see the cross section of the drain through the floor. The next step is to adjust the top of your puddle flange to the finished height required for your shower grade installation. Bedding is applied underneath the grate and then leveled both fore, aft and left and right. And then excess sand cement bedding is scraped away to allow for tile and glue thickness so the finished tile height is just above the finished height of your shower grate. The rest of the sand cement is, is installed to allow for the correct falls down to the drain. In this particular illustration, it shows after the tiles are laid, how water will typically flow both on top of your tiles and down the drain. Should you have an, an instance where you develop a leak somewhere in your bathroom, in the highlighted orange areas, will show how water in the subsurface sand cement can exit your bedding safely down the plumbing via the puddle flange. The next step for the construction phase would be to do all the tiling on both the floor and the walls as shown in the diagram. After that any grouting would be done and then silicon beads in all your floor wall intersections. Then all the furniture is reinstalled as to where you require for your bathroom.